Good morning. Y'all gonna hear my son in the background, in the TV. I tried to do this before he wake up. No. And the lighting sucks right now. But. Long time, y'all. I don't know. I got a YouTube page. I don't even be uploading stuff like that. But I just want to, not want to explain, talk about, yeah, I don't know what you want to call it, but I've had some situations in my life where, I don't know if I did the right thing or not, only God know, I guess, but... It's crazy because you know you always I'm sorry, I'm gonna be, you always think you fall in love when you find that right one. People always say you only get one true love. Well, I've had the option of actually finding three wonderful people at the time, and I say at the time because not everything works out like you wanted to work out. Man, I look crazy. I just took it out of rap, but <sighs> my first relationship was <clears throat> 14 years, and it's crazy because some people say they don't believe in God, but I do. I might not go to church every day. I might not read my Bible all the time, but I do believe in God, and I used to always say I was going to find my one true love, and... I wanted a man with no kids, but of course, then nowadays, we all of them got children. But anyways, I said I wanted my one true love. I wanted to love me for me. I wanted to have one little girl. I wanted to get married, get a house, you know, the American dream, I guess you can call it. So, God gave me that, I thought. Well, maybe he did for that time being. <laughs> They always say you ain't life for a season, so <clears throat> we together for fourteen years, we had an up and down. Shit happened. I had my beautiful daughter. She's thirteen now. Y'all already know. What that's like if y'all got a thirteen year old, but she's thirteen now. We're not together, we broke up. After we broke up he got down his knee asked me to marry him. I told him no, because that was just, after 14 years, it took me to leave you, move out, and then you asked me. And y'all, I tried to leave, hurry up and leave and get all my stuff before he got off work, and he called me. <laughs> but, <clears throat> that was that. 14 years of my life, gone. But I had my daughter out of it. And like I said, it was good and bad. Then, y'all didn't even have time. <clears throat> well, I'm going to say I did. It was probably about a couple months. You know how girls is you get a 14-year relationship, you're going to do your bucket. Nothing crazy, but I enjoy it just being me and my daughter. Then, a long time friend of the family, y'all, yeah, and it's, this is crazy because <clears throat> his mom and my mom were friends, probably before we was born, and we kind of grew up together, you know, always run across each other, because like I say, our moms was friends, I mean, I always looked at them, but I never really was like, yep, yeah, that's my baby daddy type shit, no. So, you know, everybody grow up and grow apart and do your own thing. But what's funny is because before I turned 18, <coughs> before I turned 18, this is my son, y'all want to jump in and be extra. Before I turned 18, me and had, let's just say a good time on my birthday. We had a good time. Now, right after my birthday, this is when I got with my daughter's dad. <clears throat> it was already 
like texting, but we ain't making that official. It's like, I have to say, just chilling. But, let Come on. So then, after the education of my birthday, that's not what this guy said, but 14 years after, me and him got together. Funny, right? Hey, buddy. This is a legend, y'all. All of them are just doing the most. But anyway, me and his dad got together. And it was nice, you know, ups and downs. But, but shit got really crazy. Like, I want to say this probably was the craziest relationship I've been in. Because people, you tell people shit, and then, like, you grow up with people, and people know certain things about you, and they use that against you. They put shit on the internet, they try to make you look bad. And the whole while, you know that, like, nobody's perfect, but <clears throat> the stuff you putting out there is not all true. But... I used to cry about y'all, I used to lose sleep, lose weight, all type of shit. But I always kept a smile on my face because I had my kids to deal with. <clears throat> so I dealt with it. All meanwhile, dealing with that, I have another long time break. I want to say I was... 15, 16. Had me a job. Y'all had me a credit card. I thought I was a shit. This boy used to always try to talk to me. He used to always tell him no. I told him, nope, nope, nope. You ain't, I'm not your type. You don't like me. You like white girls. All type of crazy shit, y'all. And then, that was like three, four years. <clears throat> I had this boy trying to talk to me. I just tell him no. And then as the years went on, you know, with my 14-year relationship, I used to see him periodically. And he'd be like, hey, how you doing? Hey, you know, we keep moving. So I went through these two relationships, two breakups. And here comes this third person I know from back in the day. I don't know why I didn't talk to them back in the day then and then talk to them now. I don't understand. Maybe I should have just left them alone. But if I would have left them alone, I wouldn't have my kids. So it's a lesson learned. Okay, not a mistake, y'all. So this person, I tell him I just got in a relationship that I don't want to be in a relationship. I want to do me. I want to get to know me. I don't even know what my goals is. I don't even know what I want to do, y'all. You know, when you're young, you be like, I got this, this plan. I want to go do this, this, this. That shit don't work out. So now you like, okay, what I wanna do? Do I still wanna do that? Do I wanna find something else? What I wanna do? So <clears throat> this dude pop up and he keep asking. We not dating, but he'll come over with you. Your mom, your mom. <clears throat> we'll go hang out. Yes. <laughs> So we're gonna hang out. Go get a pull up. Everybody think we're dating. I'm not dating. I didn't tell him. So, a <clears throat> couple months go in. We're still trying to talk. And this is gonna say a whole half a year, almost a year went by. And finally, I was just like, Do you want to be with me? What, baby? So we got in a relationship, y'all. <clears throat> I still really don't want to be in a relationship, but I can't really push this one away. He does everything. He's awesome. But the other two baby daddies found out he has a charge. Blasted that on fucking Facebook, so then I had to deal with that shit. <clears throat> like, I told you, people ain't perfect. Go get a pull up. Go get a pull up. You got stuck. No, you not. Yeah, he keep doing this fake cry wolf stuff. Stuff he not even stuck. Look. But anyway, 
we've been dating, and we got put on house arrest. Now, I already said we weren't finna do all that extra at my house, so they ain't trying to jeopardize me or my kids, period. Point blank. They had this discussion. He did it anyway. Baby daddy found out. And he texted me about it. So, first thing come to my mind is who does shit like that? Whatever. So, I already told him, well, you got to go. I mean, we still gonna be in a relationship, but I, I can't have you at my address because I, I'm not jeopardizing my kids. Period. <clears throat> so, now that's done and over. We still talking, we still together, whatever. Because the more I sit back and think, it's like, I don't even know what made me happy no more, y'all. This man do everything and I said be bitching about something. My kids clean up, they not bad, really. I just can't find what makes me happy anymore. <clears throat> I just started doing nails. Get my own nails. <laughs> they decent. But that's just something occupying my time. I don't even know if it made me happy. I do hair. That used to make me happy. Now I'm just like, okay, I'm going to do it to make some money. <clears throat> I used to decorate cakes, y'all. That used to make me happy. That's my job, not actually decorating cakes. And I love it, but I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I need to find something that truly makes me happy. I go. I need help, but it don't help me. You know, the certain people constantly. Trying to make you look bad or try to bring you down on social media. I try not to look at that shit. I try not to let it bother me, but <clears throat> it's crazy because that person is constantly saying that they are occupied with their two women. But constantly has time to put me down. Even your woman has time. To put me down. But nobody understands my half of the situation. Everybody just thinks I'm tripping and crazy. No. Just understand me, respect me, see my side. But I'm gonna be ready for work. And change your butt. You gotta change your butt. That's why you mad. Should have went to the bathroom. But I just want to come out, <coughs> say my little piece, and vent a little bit. But y'all comment down below. Help. Rate, subscribe. Help us out. Help me get out this phone. Come in. Because the antidepressant, the pills, it's going to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> but y'all have a good morning. It is Sunday morning. Work, 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 work. But, you have a good day. Tell them bye. Say bye. 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 Uh, <laughs>